Good morning, my cookery learners. Today, you are going to take your pretest about clean and maintain kitchen tools and premises. Instruction: Below are jumbled letters. Write the correct spelling on your answer sheet provided by your teacher. So we have here number one. Take a look at the word, no? Jumbled uh, letters. Number two. Number three. Number four. Third to the last, number five. Number six. And lastly, number seven. Write your answer on the answer sheet provided by your teacher. Next slide. Instruction. It's a multiple choice test question. Read the following statements carefully. Choose the letter that describes the statement. Write your answer on the answer sheet provided by your teacher. Number one question. Which of the following is a material used for salad making and dessert that need great care to ensure long shell life? A. Glass B. Aluminum C. Cast iron D. Stainless steel Number two, a special coating applied inside aluminum or steel pots and pans that prevents food from sticking to it. A. Double boiler. B. Teflon. C. Glass. And D. Stainless steel. Question number three. Anna finds it hard to remove tough soils from the used pots and pans. It does not respond to the different cleaning agents that she has used. If you will help her, which of the following will you recommend that will surely solve her problem? A. Abrasive B. Acid Cleaner D. Detergent D. Solvent Cleaner Number 4 the following are ways how to take care of glass kitchen tools except A. To remove a stain, use 2 tablespoons of liquid bleach per cup of water when soaking and cleaning. B. Use a nylon scrub. C. Scratch it with sharp instrument such as knife and fork. And B. Use baking soda to remove grease, crust, and boiled vinegar as final rinse. For question number 5, these are the factors that influence the cleaning process except A. Time B. Soil C. Temperature and D. Sanitize Write your answer in the test or in the... Uh, answer sheet provided by your teacher. Only the letter. Uh, only the letter. You write only the letter of the best answer. Six. Which of the following situations is good housekeeping practice best shown? A. Emptying the garbage can every other day. B. Using imported sanitizing and disinfecting materials. C. Spraying air freshener before and after leaving the room. D. Planning and implementing a program of regular cleaning of fixtures, furnitures, and home appliances. For question number 7, which of the following knife is used for trimming and paring fruits and vegetables? A. Butcher knife. B. French knife. C. Paring knife and B shears. Number 8. If the person has been exposed to poisonous fumes such as carbon monoxide, what will you do? A. 
Read the label of the poisonous material. B. Remove anything remaining in the mouth. C. Give her a glass of water or any kind of fruit juice. And letter D. Give her a spoonful, I mean, a spoon of sugar or any kind of sweets. Item number 9. Your younger sister accidentally swallowed poison. What first aid treatment should you do? A. Read the label of the poisonous material. B. Remove anything remain in the mouth. C. Give her a glass of water or any fruit juice. And letter D. Give her a spoonful of sugar or any kind of sweets. Question number 10. Which of the following is the proper steps of washing with the dishwasher machine? A. Add detergent. B. Fill your dishwasher logically. 3. Don't crowd the dishes. 4. Turn it on. So the choices is A. 4, 3, 2, 1. B. 2, 3, 1, 4. C. 3, 2, 1, 4. And D. 1, 2, 3, 4. Number 11. The following are the first aid procedure caused by chemical poisoning, except A. If the person swallowed the poison, remove anything remaining in the mouth. B. Follow treatment directions given by the poisonous center, poison centers. C. If the person has been exposed to poisonous fumes such as carbon monoxide, get him off or her into fresh air immediately. And letter D, if the suspected poison is a household cleaner or other chemical, let the person drink milk and sugar. Number 12, remove unnecessary clutter from surface means A, to ensure that any germs will not remain, B, to discard appliances and gadgets that you do not use anymore. C, to remove any foul smells. And letter D, to avoid accidents. 13. Use separate chopping board for different kinds of food to reduce the spread of A, germs, B, bacteria, C, virus, and D, infection. Second to the last question, number 14. Mila asked to disinfect their kitchen. She must do the following procedures for disinfecting except A. Preliminary cleaning B. Use hand towel to wipe all surfaces, surfaces including the floor. C. Rinse all surfaces that comes in contact with food such as exterior of appliances, tables, and stove top with pot portable water before rinse. And letter D, use a spray device for spray application. Last item, number 15, this is done using heat, radiation, or chemicals. A. Cleaning. B. Rinsing. C. Sanitizing. And D. Washing. Okay, that's all for your pre-test about Lesson 1, Clean and Maintain Kitchen Tools.